I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychHacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the subject of today's short talk is the experience of inner emptiness. So this is something that I've experienced in my own life, and I believe it is at the heart of many of the issues that I discuss with my clients, namely this inner emptiness, this void that exists or seems to exist inside of us. I experience it as a kind of painful numbness, if that makes sense, and it's highly aversive. Those who experience it try all kinds of ways to fill it. They try to fill it with drugs and alcohol, with sex and relationships, with work and business, with money and power, with distraction and pleasure, etc. I mean, there's just so many ways that human beings have invented in their attempts to avoid this experience. And they don't work which is to say that they work for a time at a great cost. And the reason for this is that you can't solve an internal problem with an external solution. And the sense of emptiness is definitely an internal problem. That said, I no longer experience this inner emptiness myself. And I've helped other people to heal from this experience as well, to fill this inner emptiness. And in my experience, there are really only three ways to do this. The first is psychotherapy. Okay, that's straightforward enough. The second is a felt relationship with a higher power. Okay, let's talk about this one. On some level, the experience of inner emptiness is a spiritual issue. And that's why it can't be solved with material things like money, sex, and substances. It's a spiritual issue. And to address a spiritual issue, you need a felt emotional relationship, not an intellectualized relationship, a felt emotional relationship with a higher power, however you choose to define that. It's within this relationship that you can feel loved unconditionally and existentially justified. It's within this relationship that I began to experience myself more and more as a being who deserves to exist on this planet and increasing my capacity to receive divine love and grace did a lot to fill that emptiness that we're discussing. Okay, so therapy, higher power. The third way is to create yourself through the intentional striving toward an ultimate goal. Most people are plankton. They're drifting through life and their daily lives are shaped more by the currents that buffet them than by their own purpose and will. This is no bueno. It's important to sit down and develop a vision for your life. Like, seriously, where do you want to be in 10 years? So that you can reverse engineer backward to your starting point in order to create a trajectory toward your ultimate goal. And this striving is going to be challenging. It's going to be time consuming. And it's going to demand a sacrifice of blood, sweat, and tears. But in that sacrifice, you might gain something greater than what you spent. And what you might gain, among other things, is the creation of yourself. On some level, we become what we strive toward. And this meaning-making requires sacrifice, at the very least, the sacrifice of who you are for who you hope to become. What do you think? Have you experienced something similar? Remember to like and subscribe for the algorithm. And if you'd like to schedule a consultation, you can reach me at Podcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.